Hi everybody, on this episode we experience archery which is national sport of Bhutan. The glory of Bhutan is not hidden from anyone. The country, as beautiful as heaven itself, is known for its vivid culture, vibrant festivals and its richness in sports. It's true that no matter how developed or beautiful a country is, it never becomes complete until its citizens have an unleashed spirit for sports. And it is the royal sport of archery or Da, as it is called Zonka, the national language of Bhutan, which completes Bhutan. Seeing the level of enthusiasm that Bhutanese have for this sport, it wouldn't be wrong to say that archery is the crown jewel of the country. And it must be the aura of Bhutan that even the tourists can't resist themselves to enjoy one or more matches of archery. The joy of seeing an arrow leaving the bow and hitting the target some hundred meters away is unparalleled. Cheerleading and dancing along with the game create a sense of sportsmanship that can rarely be found someplace else. So many local people come out of their houses to watch the matches, which gives a great chance to interact with people and learn about their culture. Declared as the national sport in 1971, the inclination of people towards archery in Bhutan started in 1920s under the leadership of Jigme Wanchuk, the second king of the country. However, archery has been practiced in the country since long before that. It was used as a major weapon against Tibetan and British invaders in the 1864 battle. Not just this, bows and arrows can be seen even the historical paintings and wall carvings demonstrating the importance of this sport in the lives and history of Bhutan. In the times of wars and invasions, this was the major source of defense for the army. In fact, when Tibetan king Langdarma started taking Buddhism as a joke in the 10th century, he was very smartly assassinated by an arrow targeted straight from a bow in the middle of a black hat dance by Lalung Pelgi Dorji, a Buddhist monk. So, it would be safe to say that the roots of archery are grounded deep beneath the grounds of Bhutan. In a traditional game of archery, the target is placed 100 or 
145 meters away from the shooter. The fact that the distance between the target and shooter is this long makes the sports even more interesting and breathtaking. The bows and arrows are made up of bamboo and are sharpened through the edge by skilled craftsmen. It's quite interesting to know that the local people appreciate the tournaments played in their native grounds much more than that in the Olympics. They believe that the range of the target is much shorter in the latter and the modern equipment used can't match the richness of traditional equipment. There are usually two teams in every match, each of them having their own supporters, who cheer for them and motivate them throughout the tournament. Participants usually wear a bright red or orange colored uniform during the competitions. In traditional games, thick length socks and a robe are also carried. When an arrow hits the board just close to the center mark, one point is given to him. For two points, the arrow has to hit the central circle, and when the arrow hits the bird's eye, three points are marked. With every point being earned, the cheerleaders dance and sing the traditional songs and encourage the participants. The lower down the confidence of the opponent team, constant hooting and booing are also the part of the match. And being a part of this crazy enthusiasm is an experience in itself. No major festival or celebrations are complete without a match of archery in which the entire village comes together to enjoy a marvelous match. Every village has a field reserved for the archery and there is no region in the country which is untouched by its might. Changlimitang Stadium is a major archery stadium in the country. The king, Jigme Kesar Namyel Vanchuk, also keeps a keen interest in the sport. Archery in Bhutan continues to see the evolution through the efforts of people to master of arts with their skills and techniques. The game thrives and cheers up people even though there are few challenges forced in it. What is the magic that they can hit the target at such a far away distance, you may ask yourself. The answer lies in Bhutan. All you have to do is reach out. If you like my Bhutan Archer video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the future contents from all around the world. See you!